Yokoso Japanese Questaway. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today there's this cat uh <laughs> Well, Haru, you can see here. Haru is saying I want to be here at the beginning of Japanese Quest today. So uh get that to deal with. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Uh, welcome everyone to Japanese Quest. The scouter says power level is 2706. That means, so far, we have learned on Japanese Quest 2,707 words. Looks like the number's off. Let's make that number go up. Look at the bottom right. Power level now going up with a new word we learned last time. Haitatsu, to deliver. Shoji to own. Uh, good, let's find some new words today. Because the theme today is uh, how many words do you know in Japanese? What do you think in chat? How many words do you know in Japanese? And today the goal is to make that number go up, even if it's just one or two or three. What do you guess? What is your power level in Japanese? Right now in Japanese Quest, we've learned 2707 words. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Fluency in a language. Um, what is your power level? How many words do you think you know in a language? True Brock says maybe 1,500. That's good. I probably started playing Japanese video games when I only knew like 700 or so. Um, and it was challenging. Uh, Texan thinks around 500 to 1,000. Chalk says depends if you include English. We're talking just Japanese. Um, 3,000 maybe. About 30. That's good. That's a good start. Um, in a way, if it's lower, it's kind of better. Because then you, you have so many options to make that number go up. Uh, negative 9,000. Okay. That's good. That means you have that many more options. If you look down here, that means almost every word you see might be a new word to make that number go up. So that's great. Let's find some more words today. Let's make that number go up and see how many words you know in Japanese. I'm not sure how many I know, by the way. Uh, but I've taken some of those quizzes for like native speakers in Japan to see how many you know. And it seemed like I knew... I don't know, similar to a native speaker level, but I, I doubt that's true. It said something like 20,000, 30,000. I don't really know. Yeah. Um, but that was just a quiz. Who really knows if that is in the ballpark? Um, but since I passed N1, you're supposed to know about 15,000 for that. I'd say I probably know 20,000, 15,000 plus words at least. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. There are new words in here, so let's make that number go up. Hmm. 15 a day, that's a good goal. Good goal. This town's not looking too good. I think we have a key verb for today. If you don't know this word yet, good time to learn it. So we see mo a lot, first of all. Look at all that mo, meaning also. So shiro mo, machi mo, hito mo, zenbu. So everything. Everything is frozen. And the verb is at the end. Often the key verb is at the end. Kotteru. Frozen. It's in the te form and then with the ru, meaning it's currently frozen. Um, so shiromo, the castle, the town, the people, everything. Zenbu. Kotteru janai. So everything's frozen. So what in the world is going on? Hora, 
やっぱり私の言った通り寒いから凍っちゃったんですよ。So, older sister, it's just like I said. Because it's cold, everything is frozen. Yeah, I live in a place where it's cold, but this doesn't happen, so I'm thinking something's weird. So, yappari, watashi no itatori. So, just as I said, so samui means cold, another key word for today. Samui kara. So, because it's cold, everything froze. Yeah, learning hiragana is a really good first step. Hmm. So yeah, no matter how much it's called the the <laughs> The snow capital. Just with cold, not everything is gonna freeze. So for now, let's uh, let's investigate the town. So Machi no Naka, inside the town. Naka is inside. And then the verb here, Shiraberu. But it's connected with a te form to Miru, so like let's try. You can use te Miru for let's try something. So let's try investigating the town. Machi no nako o shirabete miru. Eh, even the horse, oh no. Eh. Hmm. So, Ojisan ni hikareta uma ga kotteru. Again, like I said, the key verb today <laughs> frozen. Um, kotteru. So, yeah, the horse that was being pulled by this man here is frozen. Uh, do you think it's way too damaging? I mean, nothing's really damaging when you're learning. Um, let's not get. Let's not get over dramatic. Um, I mean, learning's learning. So, learning is good. I learned most of my words the first without kanji. That's how Japanese class is. Um, yeah, and I hated kanji too when I was in Japanese class. I hated that we had to learn them. And I don't use, use the word hate normally. Um, so, I'd say don't worry about it. Um, yeah, the whole idea that anything is a crime. With language learning, we try to not think like that here. There's different ways to learn a language. I mean, yeah, the main way everyone learns by being exposed to the language. Um, that's true. But yeah, just don't worry about it too much. Learn in a way that you think might work for you. And uh, some great comments here about kanji learning too. I'd say my main advice is learn kanji in the context of words as you read. You're exposed to kanji and words at the same time. Um, in the end, that's how you want to learn them. That's how Japanese people learn them. And also, the other way Japanese people learn them that I recommend is write them down. Write kanji down, get a feel for them. And then just being exposed to the language, you'll start to learn it. So the oji san also is frozen. JP Games, konnichiwa. We're checking out this frozen town right now. The castle too is frozen. Ooh, it looks like there was something. Something here. Hmm. So again, we see this key verb for today. This time, a soldier. Heishi ga 
Hotel. So this f- soldier is frozen and he is surprised and looking up at the sky. There must have been something. Yeah, so I'd, I'd recommend um, make friends with kanji. I kind of hated kanji for a long time in Japanese class, but but really kanji is the fun part of this language. It's a big part of the fun part of Japanese. It's one of the part one of the things that makes Japanese unique, and it's part of the kind of fun puzzle. Like you do a puzzle, what's more fun? A fifty-piece puzzle, or like a five hundred or a thousand-piece puzzle? with an interesting design. In my opinion, it's it's a fun part of the puzzle. The kanji's one of the good parts. So enjoy it. Don't stress about it too much. Just uh, have fun with it. Yeah, it can be. Um, Yeah, find a way to make it fun. Um, It's going to be different for everyone. Like, for me, doing remembering the kanji really did make it fun. Not everyone likes the book because it doesn't teach you the readings of the kanji. But for me, remembering the kanji, RTK they call it, um, making a story for each kanji in my mind kind of made them... It made it fun for me. So find a way to make it fun for you. And yeah, the more you see them, the more they kind of you get used to it and the more it kind of gets fun too. But yeah, for kanji... Different methods work for different people. What's going on here? Someone's here. So they do have a fire. So someone can be here. Hmm. It's true. Fun things are fun. So I recommend finding the fun. Good advice for anything. Takibi ga moeteiru. Karara ga skoshi dake. So a fire is burning and your body just a little bit warms up. For once we see a different key verb rather than being frozen we see burning. The, the verb is moeru in the te form. Moeteiru. Good verb. I feel like we just added something similar to that. What was that? Huh. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. Looks like it probably isn't because it didn't come up green. Oh, <gasps> Yeah, it's true. Sorry, I didn't notice you. I can't believe a traveler would visit here. Oh, you're a Huh, so you seem okay. What? Why is everyone frozen? Could you tell us? That's <laughs> Hmm? So, okay, we see the answer often again. The key information can be at the end. In a Japanese sentence. Majo. A witch. So, witch appeared in the sky about three months ago. And we've got a dragon, too. So, we got a dragon also appearing in the sky. You can see it here been summoned, so subscribe. Arigato. So there's a witch here, much like this dragon right here. Although this this dragon might thaw the town. The witch, I guess, did the other way. Not good. So we have this witch, San Kagetsumai, who appeared on a sunny day three months ago. When suddenly... Totsuzen, machi no jokuni. Suddenly, in the sky above the town, there was a witch. 
Or at least someone who looks like a witch. <laughs> a witch? You mean like a witch like you find in like uh, old legends? That kind of witch? Again, we got this word for Majo. We learned this back when we played Harry Potter on PlayStation, I believe. Harry Potter 1. And yeah, here you have Griffin Sensei. Kawaii And we got some new words. Let's scroll down our new words here in the top left. So, Moeru, to burn. Joku, the sky. Totsuzen, suddenly. And then, uh, Mukashi Banashi. Old tales, folk tales, because that's where witches appear. And, uh, power level is now 2711. Let's make that power level go up, because today, that's the question, that's the theme. How many Japanese words do you know? Um, all these words... New words here are fair game for new words. They are new words for Japanese quest. So darkness is usually linked to magic. Uh, yeah, often it is, and in this game it definitely is. So, then, magic is Hmm. Okay, so that witch, again, Majo. Majo ga nani yara jumo no tonaru to. So the, uh, the witch did some kind of spell. Here's the word for spell. Jumo. And then to cast the spell. Tonaru. Um, so suddenly. Totsujo Hageshi Fubuki. So suddenly a terrible blizzard came and enveloped the city. Okay, I think this person is a bit suspicious. Why do they have a crown? First of all. Little water, welcome. And uh, and so she lost consciousness, but then woke up, and the whole town was burnt. That's kind of weird too. Why would she be the only one that did not get frozen? Watashi dake, so just me. I'm not sure for the reason why just I was saved. It's kind of strange. And why do you have a crown? Really? I guess she tried her own spells to, and they did not go away. So, Kono Koriwa, so this ice, with my spells, it does not melt. Another keyword today that we need to work on to melt something. Um, in this case, I cannot melt it. Tokasenai. So with my spells, I can't melt it. Um, so yeah, it must have been a terrible witch who did this because we want to save them, but even my spells can't melt it. And she has fire spells too. She's quite powerful. So JP says double nante in this sentence. Ah, uh, yeah, good. I actually. Yeah, kind of to express her great disgust or her great surprise at this uh, witch. Um, so, nante, nante, hidoi majo. So, yeah, a terrible, a terrible witch. Who could actually freeze this whole town? Hmm. Uh. By the way, that emblem on your clothes, I've I've been uh noticing it. Hmm. 
We got some new words too. Let's uh, power up with some new words. Let's make our power level go up here on Japanese Quest. What do we got? Let's scroll down our new words here. Some new words we saw in the game. Ooh, good ones. Fubuki, a snowstorm or blizzard. Uh, Mega Samedi, to wake up. We saw that too, I think, in uh, Breath of the Wild. That's kind of like the first thing that happens, but I think we learned different words at the time. And then uh, Toku, to dissolve or it can be to melt. So good words. Power level is now 2714. Look at the bottom right. Power level is now going up. Let's find some new words too. Okay. Well, that explains the uh the crown. A language abroad, Yokoso. Japanese customer, welcome. So Jo Queen. I am the Queen, Queen Shadu. I'm the queen of this kingdom. So sorry I was late in uh, introducing myself. So maybe she's got some special queen magic that saved her. Ah, so you're the queen, so you mean... The previous generation's king, he already... Yeah, he must have passed away, is the implication. Her father, perhaps. So, Sendai no O. So, O is king. Sendai, the previous generation, the previous king. So, some good words. Okureru, to be late. She was late introducing herself, and then Sendai, the last, the previous generation, one's parents. So, we have a question in chat. Was there a poll for how many words we all know? I'm curious to see the results if there was one. Uh, yeah, we uh, kind of just wrote in chat at the beginning of stream. Um, but since we've been going a while, there might be new people here. Again, let's ask and let's just, just write a number. And you, it can be a range. Um, how many words do you think you know in Japanese? Remember before, some people wrote like 30 words. Some people wrote like 1,000 words. Some people wrote like 3,000. How many words do you know in Japanese? What is your... Japanese power level. So far on Japanese Quest, we've learned this many. I myself said maybe I know... I think I probably know 20,000 plus. That's just a ballpark. I've taken some quizzes for Japanese native speakers that said it was somewhere in that range. Um, it actually said more than that, but I don't know if I trust that quiz. Um, but anyway, yeah. How many words do you know? You can write that name there, write that number there, and then today we can try to find some new words. For example, we can find some words maybe right here. How many kanji characters do you need to know to get around Japan? Um, for kanji, for a native speaker, you probably need at least 2,000 to read. Um, but yeah, probably 2,000 plus, roughly. Sounds like a lot, but if you keep moving forward, it's pretty doable. To read them is much easier to write them, by the way. So we see 15 words from Usagi. Good place to start. Um, yeah, the Joyo Kanji is like you see there, 2,136. So uh, 50 to 100 words here, good. 2,000 words. Or 2,000 kanji is the number I keep hearing. Um, so it looks like we switched in chat to kanji. That's fine, but anyway. Um, so it's quite a range of people. How many words you know, how many kanji you know. A thousand words. Looking good. 500 to a thousand words. A thousand kanji. A thousand words. 
yeah, good place to start. Um, wherever you are is a good place to start. In a way, the lower, the better in a certain way, because then every new word can be a new word for you. It's kind of a cool place to be. In a way, it's like, did you learn in physics about potential energy? Like when you have a ball in the air over the ground, it's got all this potential energy based on how far it is off the ground. In a way, the, the less words you know, the more potential energy you have, because every word you see on stream in Japanese, you can use that potential energy and change it into language kinetic energy, let's call it. Um, so it's a very cool place to be. So here we have a new word, height. So yes, so one year ago, my father passed away. So Chichi, father. Um, and then yeah, she inherited the throne. And then suddenly, the town was frozen. So yeah, Machi, town. Chichi, father, and then he passed away. Nakunatta, to pass away. Nakunaru, to pass away. Uh, yeah, in a way you could say that. <laughs> yeah, I think it seems kind of suspicious to me too. Hmm, seems like we came at a bad time. I think it's not a time to worry about the orb. Let's try to save this town, maybe. Orb? Tim says, I only know like 50 kanji, but I'll keep learning. Yeah, that's the key. Just keep moving forward. Kanji by kanji, word by word. Um, or maybe not. Maybe none of that. Just keep moving forward. Keep exposing yourself to Japanese until you get used to it. So she says, what? An orb? And we're saying, yeah, we we're looking for an orb. The orb that was passed down through your family. Um, the blue orb. You can see it in katakana here. Blue orb. So we need... There's a reason we need that orb, the word for needing something, necessary. Hitsuyo. Ano orb ga hitsuyo. That orb is necessary to us. Uh, question. I'm curious, how long has everyone been learning Japanese? JP says 6.5 years? Almost at 2 years? And yeah, I just want to preface this by saying it's not, it's not a race. There are Everyone learns kind of at their own pace sometimes. It can be made into a bit of a race. It's definitely not a race. I've been learning over 20 years. <laughs> Don't know exactly. And then I've been learning kind of off and on. But I've been a Japanese teacher in past N1 around six years ago, I think. Um, so I've been reading books every day since then and then teaching Japanese here too on Japanese Quest for about three years. <laughs> So, Shining Drew, Yokoso, Japanese Quest away, welcome. So, how many years have you been learning Japanese? So, we see four years on and off, six months every day. Yeah, every day is the key if you want to get serious. So, learning seriously since 2017, 21 years, off and on. I can relate to that. Um, so, a lot of different answers. Looks good. So I've been learning for over 10 years off and on, putting some serious effort since I watched this channel. Ooh, that's good to hear. That's what I like to hear as a Japanese teacher. Yeah, the key is finding kind of a spark sometimes, something that, that shifts something in your mind where suddenly you realize, you know, I really want to learn this. And then suddenly after that day, something clicks. And then every day, you expose yourself to the language every day. You just keep moving forward bit by bit. It just becomes a hobby, basically. Something fun rather than something to study. Even studying gets fun. I mean, I was at a point where I took four JLPT tests in one day. 
of N1 just for fun. And yeah, it was hard, but that's like, you get to a point where just studying is fun. Like to me, the JLPT was fun. So I took four of them in a day. So I like your stream setup. Look forward to lurking and learning here. Yeah, welcome. Uh, that's what we do. We lurk and learn. We learn and lurk. Uh, but we keep lurking forward. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't really. Anyway, I keep moving forward. That's what we do. Let's find some new words in the game. The keyword here, hitsio, necessary, because this orb, this blue orb, is what we need. Let's find some new words and make this power level go up. By the way, all these words down here are great words. Kyoku, memory. Kaizoku, pirate. Uh, these words we learned back in Xenoblade 2. So you can find words here, you can find words here, you can find words here. Make yourself comfortable, relax, have some fun, and let's, uh, let's learn some words. あの青い宝玉のことですね。あれでしたら今はお城の中にありますので、氷を溶かさない限り中には。うん。Mm. So that blue crystal. So if you're talking about that, it's inside the castle. So ima wa. So ima is now. So now, oshiro na oshiro no naka. So it's inside the castle. Naka, inside. Shiro, castle. So until we uh, melt the ice, we can't go inside. So kori, ice. Kori o tokasanai kagiri. So this kagiri piece is a nice chunk of grammar. So it means until we melt that ice, we cannot go inside. And yeah, welcome everyone. Great stories about how long you've been learning. Um, it's a big part of what we do is just making a place that learners can kind of talk and just feel like sometimes you're all alone learning a language. If you feel like you're not alone, that can be really motivating. You feel like we're now together, we're all together here on a journey. We're all looking at the same thing. We're all looking at Japanese. We can see this thing right here that we're circling, shiro, castle. We can learn that word together. If you've learned it, we can learn it a little bit more. Uh, we can put it a bit more deeper. I can't speak English apparently, but I can speak Japanese. Um, so yeah, if anyone's into learning Japanese from Japanese games, that's what we do here. I'm a Japanese teacher. But in a way, more importantly, we've got a great community of Japanese learners. We can ask questions, answer questions, and just feel that you are not alone. We can all kind of learn together. We can make it easier. We can make it more fun together because that's the key if you're learning language, make it fun. Make it so fun that you want to do it every day. If you get to that point, it kind of becomes easy in a way. You just start to want to do it. And then if you're just doing it for fun, you'll learn it kind of automatically. So we got some new words. Nakunaru. To pass away, because her father passed away. So power level is now 2717. Let's make that power level go up. Look at the bottom right. 2717. Yosh. Huh, so it sounds like either way... If we don't melt that ice, we can't get the orb. So now we gotta save them to get the orb anyway. Again, we see the word for orb. In katakana. I wonder, is that a word in the dictionary? The word for orb. If it is, I think it's time we learn it, because we see this orb word so much in this game. Uh, yeah, this is what I often say, too. Um, Duolingo in Japanese doesn't have the best reputation, but if it got you started on the path, then that's great. Because sometimes you're on this path, if you start the path with something like Duolingo, and then eventually there's a branch in the path, and maybe you start learning a different way. If you start learning with, uh, I don't know, 
the Genki textbook, or maybe with Take Him. Um, and then eventually you keep going on this path, and then eventually you're completely independent. You can learn through games, you can learn through whatever you want. So maybe if we defeat the witch, then the ice will melt. And this is really the great thing about learning from games. From the context, you really learn how the words fit together. So... So maybe we can see very clearly how all these just two nouns, two verbs, and they're directly interacting. So majo o taoseba, if we defeat the witch, kori ga tokeru. The ice will melt. Kamo, maybe. Kamo means maybe. Um, and then this ba is the kind of conditional. So if we defeat, so taos is to defeat, but taoseba. So if we can defeat the witch, then maybe the ice will melt. This is really the strength of games because you need to find out if you do X, then Y. And you see how that all fits together when you play the game because you need to do it to win the game. Uh, yeah, Japanese Pod 101 is a, is a good place to uh, learn hiragana. If you Google it with hiragana, you could probably learn hiragana in just a day or two or a week, depending on how much time you put into it. And if for a first thing in Japanese, learning hiragana really is the key. Actually, Huh, so Jitsua, actually, we see this a lot. So actually, a few days ago, um, there was some reinforcement army that came from another country to defeat the witch, and I had them help us, but... Like, maybe they've had a, diffi a, di a, a difficult battle. So, Sen is like a battle or a war. And then Ku is like difficulty. So, difficult battle. Ku Sen Shiru no Ka. So, maybe they had a difficult battle. And, uh, yeah, I have not heard from, from them at all. Ooh, some good new words. We do have the word for orb now. Unlock the word for orb. It's just in Katakana. Obu. And then, uh... Perhaps. Good word we saw too. So perhaps if we defeat the witch, then the ice will melt. Hmm. So if this is the situation, then yeah, let's help defeat the witch. How do you say defeat a witch? Well, one way you can say it. Majo Taiji. So Majo is witch. Taiji is to uh, kind of like defeat or exterminate. So let's cooperate with them to defeat this witch. The word for cooperation. Kyoryoku. So Kyoryoku shimasho. Let's cooperate and defeat this witch. We can't just leave these frozen people. Uh, this is a question, I think, though, for uh, everyone, all the party members on Japanese Quest. I'm just one party member. Griffin Sensei here is just one party member. But uh, we can all vote sometimes on important questions here. So, hi! Should we help them defeat this witch? Or we can say... Ie. Let's not... Um, let's not help to defeat this witch. So, hi! Yes. Ie. No. You can vote in chat. Let's take a look. So 
So we're seeing height, height, height. We're seeing ie, ie, mostly height. Okay, I think we're gonna, height's gonna win. Cole has summoned a dragon. Yokozo. Japanese Custaway. Welcome to this new dragon. Thank you for the sub. Let's go. Let's say hi. So thank you everyone. The witch is in the east. In this uh, snow field. Called this katakana thing. Uh, so if you go to this forest, yeah, she should be lurking in there. It's a couple key words. Mori, forest. Sets again. Snowfield. And Hosto. Arigato. Thank, thank you very, very much for the host from uh, Kirino. Anyone new? What we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. I'm a Japanese teacher, so welcome. Let's go. Let's go. But in that forest is not just the witch. So Mori niwa, so in the forest. Majo dake denaku. So dake is only. Dake denaku, not only the witch. There is also a monster that has been. Yeah, kind of kept or raised by the witch. So be careful. The word for this monster? Maju. So notice we got Majo. And we've got Maju. The Ma, meaning kind of evil or magical, is the same. The Jo means woman. The Ju means a beast. So we've got a magical... Woman, we've got a magical beast. Let's find both of them. Let's defeat them and let's uh let's save this town. Hmm. A magical beast. Okay. I will remember that. So let's go quickly, let's go into the forest. Let's find them. New good word here. Hisomu. To lurk, to be hidden, to be concealed. Power level is now 2720. Let's make that power level go up. Yosh. Okay, so now we can see our adventure guide. Boken Gaido. Uh, so, Majo o Taiji Shio. So, defeat the witch, basically. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm guessing then we need to go... ...out the way we came, right? Probably. Oh uh, yeah, that same kanji can mean to dive, I believe, but I think it's usually a different word than, like, yeah, perhaps someone in the chat can give you an example. Looks like some good ingredients for crafting later, maybe.
Let's save here. It's been a little while. I think you just spam the button and save, which is a nice thing in this game. When you spam the button in Dragon Quest 1, it would exit you out of the game, which is not my style. I like to kind of just keep pressing the, the button. Okay, so I'm thinking we're probably going this way then. Because they did say to the east, I believe. Yosh. Yeah, I would do that streaming on Dragon Quest 1, just spamming as I would be saving, and I think sometimes it would throw me out to the, the menu again. Okay, so I think we're going here. It looks like there's two different options of where to go. Uh, let's just go straight, I guess. Yeah, I believe the word in chat that people are mentioning is, uh, like, Moguru, to dive, and then Hisomu, to conceal. So same kanji, but different word. And there are lots of words like that. Same kanji, but different word. It's one of the fun parts of Japanese. Very flexible. Can be a challenge, but... Can be a fun point as well. Let's see if we can find some uh, new words in this snowfield. In fact, the word for snowfield, could that be one? Check this word here. Setsuge no nukete. So get through this snowfield. Find this forest. Find the, the witch lurking within. This could be a new word. Snowfield. Not sure if it is new, but we can try it. You got the kanji for snow and the kanji for field. Together, there we go. Sets again. Snow field. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for adding it. Let's see if we can find some new words in here, too. So it looks like where we want to go is the forest up here. And we see Modi Forest. This must be somewhere else that we don't need right now. Let's see if we're strong enough for this area though. Before we take on the witch. <laughs> I probably should have done a bigger one because I think everyone is everyone is pretty much ready to go let's try this one really we're dancing I'll take it. <laughs> that would have been nice to have on the witch, actually. All that, everyone in the zone. Oh well. Probably would have fought someone before. Yeah, I don't know what that attack was. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I don't think I ever did that in my other game. Hmm, so we have a cabin up here. But 
こんにちは9月ようこそ Welcome あ、so you're looking for that forest if you're looking for the forest just go north so 北 north 北に行ったところ so if you go north you'll find it so 森 forest so 森なら so if you're looking for the forest go north Yeah, but be careful because it's dangerous. Kikena basho. Dangerous place. Basho place. Kiken, danger. So, kyo tsukere koto da. So, yeah, be careful. Kyo tsukere to be careful. Might as well take a quick rest. So we can see the north he was talking about, just north there to the forest. Konosaki, so up ahead, we can see the forest, but be careful of the danger again. So, Kiken Nitsuki, so because it's dangerous, Tachiri Kinshi. Very common. For kanji compound, you'll see on signs. So entering is forbidden.、Uh, kinchi is forbidden. And then tachiiri is to enter. So tachiiri kinchi. Entering is forbidden. Good to know. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. And that's really just the key for learning a language. Just Expose yourself every day, and you'll just get more and more used to it. So that's really good to hear. That even from this stream, you're finding more and more, some of the text is becoming much more recognizable. It's very encouraging for me, too, as a Japanese teacher, that makes me think, huh, we might not be wasting our time here.、Uh, once in a while, I think, is learning in this way really effective enough to keep doing it? Like, I know it's helpful to some people some of the time, but. The question is, is it helpful enough that we should keep doing it for a more long term campaign? I sometimes ask myself that question. So that's why part of the reason for a while we、uh, took a break with the stream.、Um, but I do think that there's a lot we can learn from games too. Yes, let's go. Glad to hear it. We got some hype. Let's go. Omae no yona ippan jin ga. So, a person like you, just a regular person like you, we're not really a regular person. We are the legendary hero, just so you know.、Uh, so, what are you doing here? It's dangerous, so you better go back. Yeah, you better leave the forest quickly. So, Hayaku, quickly. Mori o detta ho ga i. So, it'd be better if you left the、uh, forest quickly. And why? Abunai kara. Because it's dangerous. So, kara, because. Abunai, dangerous. So, because it's dangerous, leave this forest. And then, yeah, he thinks we're a normal person. Ipanji. New word here. Ordinary person, member of the general public, non celebrity. But、uh, yeah, we are not that. We are the legendary hero,、uh, reincarnation of this great hero. So Winter says, it's just like reading a book. As long as you learn some new words, I count that as effective. I agree with you. The biggest help of your stream is it confirms or corrects my own translation when I see the text. Sweet. Good to hear. Watashi ka? Me? Watashi wa renaka ga tare naka natta Kuremoran no joko saguru tame ni Teru kara aru kara haken sareta 
So I was sent from this other kingdom, Derukararu, to see what the situation is here, because they did not contact them for so long. Hmm. Sail ears, welcome. New party member. Sail ears. Imagine a sailboat. Right? We got a sailboat. And there's an extra sail. They had our ears. Sail ears. Is that the situation? Another ear but down here, maybe? So welcome to Japanese Quest. We've now got sail ears, which could be very useful on our journey because if we're ever on the water and we needed ears at sea, now we've unlocked that power with this new party member. So welcome to Japanese Quest. Let's go. So Kono Mori Niwa, so in this forest. Yeah, there should be this witch. But there's also the kind of underling of the witch, which is this uh Maju, this magic beast. So yeah. Abunai kara dangerous, so please leave this forest quickly. Hayaku quickly. Borio Deru. Leave the forest. Sales ears, hello. Welcome. I'm sorry, I said your name wrong. It's sail ears, singular, not sales ears. I confused myself. So some new words here. Yeah, we've been seeing some of these words a lot today. Uh, more or less, it's a red wall reference. What is red wall? I don't know anything except Japanese, so I don't know what that is. Just kidding, I do know some things, but I don't know a lot. And uh, so, ippanjin, normal people. Hakken, to a... Uh, Dispatch or deploy. Some soldiers were deployed here. And then, uh, Korizuke. To be frozen. Good words. So it's a set of books. Good to hear. A great set of books. Good to get the shout out. And yeah, this is a fun stream. What we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. I'm a Japanese teacher. We find Japanese words. And then, people other than me generally. Add those words here, where it says new words here, and then our power level goes up, so let's go. And uh, welcome to Sailors. If you're interested in that, check out Redwall. We like books here too, I read books in Japanese. Um, sometimes talk about them on stream. It's about an anthrop anthropomorphic animal fighting over a monastery. This sounds like a good book series. Let's check it out. So power level is now 2725. We went up. Let's go to our power level up screen. Here we go. So some new words here. Look at the bottom right. 2725. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? I like this guy. He told us to leave and we were just saying, uh, nope, we're going deeper into this forest now. We see a save here, probably before the beast, possibly here, or possibly the witch, we'll see. Go and eat you up. Yes! Oh. Ooh, that's not oh. good. Let's change our tactics here. Since we're not on a boss, we can probably change things up a little bit. They can gumbutter. Mama says, I wonder how many words we can get from this game. Yeah, this, this game has a ton of words, so we could learn a ton. Bubba has summoned a dragon. Good, that will help on this battle. So thank you very much for the sub, thank you very much for the dragon. The hype is real for Japanese learning on Twitch today. Subscribe. Arigato. 
And we also need those dragons to kind of thaw this kingdom, maybe. Might help. By the way, you can summon dragons for uh, free if you have Amazon Prime, I believe. You can summon dragons for free still. Something to keep in mind. And the weird thing about that, if you don't summon the dragon for free, the dragon will leave. So you do need to summon the dragon every month or the dragon will leave. Let's see. Hey. Hi. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad. Yeah, the the word to thaw we learned just before. And yeah, Mama, that should be it. Toketu to thaw. Uh, Bubba says, been watching these streams for some time now. I'm impressed with the regularity of it. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're impressed with it. Um, it may not continue indefinitely, so I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Um, for a while, we were on a break for about 10 months. Sometimes I need to spend more time on teaching Japanese full-time as a job. Uh, for right now, I've got some time to teach Japanese here more regularly. So let's see how it goes. If it grows enough more likely to keep going uh, if we don't make partner um, if it doesn't grow so much if people don't see so much value through it um, it may not continue so yeah enjoy it while it's here um, let's learn Japanese from Japanese games and let's find some words but in some form I would like Japanese quest to continue it just might not be regular like this always but for now let's do it every day let's grow this community and let's learn some Japanese uh, so we got some skill points do we use them right now Let's see. Hype. Hype is rising for Japanese on Twitch. Yeah, that's the goal. In general, let's make hype go up on Twitch. So it's not just us. It's a lot of different streams teaching Japanese, learning Japanese on Twitter. And some are already doing it. It's not just us. But uh, let's make that go up. We can all host each other. We can all hype each other. Let's make it a thing. Let's make it a hobby. Learn Japanese on Twitch from games. Let's go. We got some points. Yeah, we do. Let's uh maybe use some of them. Finally we can get this one. Nice. It increases the possibility of status effects, which is very nice. Mr. Reflection, Konbanwa, let's do it. And I realize, too, that getting partner is not that big of a deal for a channel, necessarily. A lot of times, you make the push for partner, get a lot of views, and then after that, your views go down. It's just a reality, oftentimes, with that partner excitement and push. Um, but still, it'd be cool to get partner, because then we could think about doing things like making a Japanese learning team, stuff like that. So something could be fun to think about to get a bit more... Whoa, what's going on here? I'm just kind of, like, talking about things and dying. Let's not die. Let's get stronger. Nice. Uh, what perks does partner give you? Maybe people in chat can tell me better than me. I don't really know. I know one thing you can do. You can make teams. Which could be potentially interesting for a, like, Japanese learning team, potentially. I believe you have more... You definitely have more emotes you can unlock. I believe you can have more, like, revenue sharing, possibly for ads. I'm not really sure about that. Um, but there's just a few different perks. People in chat probably know better than me. Some people probably do. Yoshi.
We're close to 3,000 words. Yep, we'll, we'll get there. Yep. We will get there. The, the hype is rising on Japanese Quest. Ooh. Samui. So they're very cold. Ooh, let's get this treasure quick, though. Yosh. So if no other word is learned today with someone new to Japanese, here's the word to learn for this land. Samui. Cold. Samui. Cold. Good word. Adjective. This person's quite cold. Samui. Uh, fubuki no nako o aruite tara. So walking through this blizzard. Nakama no minna to. So with all my uh, nakama, with all my friends. Hagurite shimatta. So I became separated from them. So majo to hachiwase suru mai ni. Goryushinaito. So before we fight the witch, we must get back together. Don't worry, we'll take her down for you. Looks like we're making progress. I think there's like some ancient snow. Don't eat you up. They do want to fight, okay. I should have healed him, huh? Calling them. The good thing about that, keep getting more and more experience. So Tim says the main perk I can see on their website is being able to make money from Prime and ads. Yeah, the thing is, you could do that as an affiliate too, which I already am an affiliate. So yeah, I make money now off ads and, um, Subscriptions. Some people summon dragons. It is some support for Japanese Quest, but if I was to do this full time, just off subscribers and ads, we'd probably need. How many subscribers? Uh, like a thousand subscribers. And we have a, only about 50, so we'd need about 20 times the subscribers that we currently have. Which would be a challenging goal, but who knows? Someday we can get more. Some people have suggested making a Patreon because some people watch on YouTube and then could support Japanese Quest that way. So perhaps someday we might make a Patreon or something. Because eventually doing this full time could be kind of a fun job and challenge. In a way, I feel like there should be a Japanese teacher as their job teaching Japanese through games. Might as well be me in a way. Since we've been doing it now for about three years. Off and on, but doing it more regular as a full time job might be fun. Ooh, Winter has summoned a dragon. Arigato! Ooh, I think we're seeing five gift stubs. Arigato! I do appreciate it. Get some hype for Japanese learning on Twitch. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, more options for monetization, customization are big things by the look of it. Yeah, that could be big. More options. And then, yeah, strategy means, yeah, stop send strategy. It's basically the meaning of it. We got hype! 
Let's get some uh, dragon hype in the chat, because we've got a lot of dragons just that got summoned. I do appreciate it, Cole, for those gifted subs. I think it says five gifted subs. So, hontoni arigato. I really do appreciate it. Let's get some hype in here. We got some new subs. Let's go. Let's see what our subs are up to, by the way, just uh, out of curiosity. We now have, I think, 54, I believe. So I think some went down. We did get over 60, but then uh, when we first came, it's been over a month now. So I think we're up to 54. Some scrubbing. I got this. We got some dragons. Let's go. The dragons, the dragons keep coming. So, Kori Duke, to the freezing, and to uh, melt the freezing. So, Toku is the word for melt here. We came all the way from Derukadaru to defeat this witch, Majo Taoshini Kitanda. So, to defeat that witch, we came. And that's what we did too. The summon dragons. They are all with us here. They will help us defeat this switch. Ooh. We got another. We got another dragon. Oreo has summoned a dragon with the help of Quinn Bob. Hontoni Arigato. Daga Kono Fubuki de. So in this uh, blizzard. Ah, Taicho. We uh, lost. We lost our uh, captain. So Miyushi now to lose Taicho, the captain. Yeah, I think with this many dragons, we should be good. For the witch, I think. I think we'll probably win. So Taicho wa kukyo na jinbutsu nanodaga. So he is a very uh, strong person, but he's not good with cold. Then why did he come here? Samusa ga nigate. So nigate means not good with cold in this case. So buji de iru to ino daga. So I hope he's okay. Ah uh, yeah, good noob question. Why does the, the emote have a mole? Anyone in chat know? Anyone know about the beginning of Japanese quest? So why is there a mo on the emote? So mo means also, that's part of it. It's also partly the character in that game that we played. The Zito Blade 2. Yeah, they say mo a lot. It's kind of their thing in that game. To be cute, they'll say mo mo mo. They say mo quite a bit. So it's, uh, it's based on the no pawn in that game. And they say mo a lot. So yeah, JP knew it. Nanto. We found a a seed of quickness. Ooh, let's use that. You have the seeds here. Uh We got these skill seeds. Let's use this seed of quickness, though. Who wants to be quick? Ah, uh, let's go with Makita. Yeah, exactly. They say Mo all the time. Xenoblade One, as well. Yeah, first game we played Xenoblade 2, and these guys, they say Mo all the time. Plus it means also, so you can say it, you can use the emote for Mo, meaning I agree with someone. Because it says Mo, also if a dragon is summoned, it can bring hype. We can have more dragons, because it's half dragon, half no pawn, it's called a drab pawn. Unique creation of Japanese quest. You can unlock it if you subscribe. And summon that dragon. Alright, where are we now? We're getting closer.
Hmm, maybe some treasure down here? Let's quick check it out. We do like treasure. Anyone know the Japanese word for treasure? That's one thing you see all the time in Japanese games. More than real life. And unfortunately, not so much treasure in real life. It's one thing that's good about games. Yosh. We got a recipe book. Looks like some kind of shield recipes. Don't eat you up. Yep, Takara. Treasure. Looks good. Ah, I saw your face. I feel like I've seen you before. So yeah, we have to... So don't worry about that. Let's find our uh, captain. So Taicho... Mitsuke Dasaneba. We gotta find him. And quickly. Here's a phrase. Ikokumo Hayaku. Which means basically as quickly as possible let's find this captain. Yeah, thank you very much for all these gift subs. Really do appreciate it. Now the people that have those subs, they can uh, use all those emotes. Unlocked Griffin Sensei. Unlocked the Drapone unlocked Nani. Unlocked Yatta for different possible moments. But yeah, if we don't make partner on here too, in a way it's fine. Because it just means, A, maybe learning is not hype enough for Twitch to get someone to partner. Or maybe my talent is just not enough in that role. Uh, but yeah, I might try, if that doesn't work out with some time doing this, we might try streaming on YouTube again too. Because potentially for learning, YouTube could be a place with more hype around learning. Potentially. We'll see someday. But for now... Let's try Twitch. We're gonna go hard on Twitch every day, same time. Um, and let's see where we can get. Let's level up. I don't want to go back to YouTube. I prefer. Let's get partnered on Twitch and let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, VTube, VTuber avatar. Yeah, I'm never gonna do that. And yeah, I, I do realize that the, a loop of the kitty, Griffin Sensei at the bottom, may not be the most powerful thing for channel growth. I'm aware of that, but nevertheless, Griffin Sensei, for now at least, and the foreseeable future, he will be with us on this journey. Griffin Sensei wants to be on this journey. He will be here. So Griffin Sensei is part of this quest, and we'll just see how far we can push it. Yeah, in some ways, YouTube is certainly better for learning. And for income, Patreon could be better. So yeah, we may look at that. We certainly may look at Patreon, even if we don't stream on YouTube. Um, now I came for Japanese State for Griffin Sensei. Arigato, appreciate it. And uh, let's look at our new words here. So we've got some new words at the top left. Miyushino. To lose someone, to lose sight of something. So Jinbutsu. Person. So we're looking for this person, the captain. And then uh, who is that person? They are the uh, commanding officer, the Taicho. 2728 is our new power level. Let's make that go up. Look at the bottom right. Power level going up right now. Yosh. Who now is people writing about goals? Yeah, YouTube may not be f so good for streams, but still someday may try it again. And I may try doing some there and some here too. Because I do like Twitch for streaming. But 
it kind of seems like the, the landscape for streaming in videos keeps shifting. So Japanese Quest could shift someday what platforms are on. But we started on Twitch. Definitely want to keep going on Twitch. Wow, everyone is sleeping? Are you kidding me? These bats are ridiculous. We should have slept him for revenge. Oh well. We look at the ice very slippery. So we're almost to the end here of this forest. Yosh. Powering up here. <laughs> Gotta get ready for this witch. Level up in the game, level up in the language. Then we'll be unstoppable. That's the goal here. Level up in the language, level up in the game. Let's do it. Yosh. YouTube cares about the views you get and like how long the views are maybe. Yeah, I'm not to totally sure what you're referencing there too, but let's uh, pray so we can save here. And I think before we take on this witch, we'll head down this path, but I'll take a quick break before that, so I'll say BRB. Japanese Quest will be back shortly, and then we'll take on this witch, or at least her beast. And, uh... Yeah. Japanese Quest will be back after a short break. By the way, these ads we run before break, it's not so much for the money, because I think each one we might get, like, I don't know, 50 cents or less, I don't really know. Um, it's really more about... If you play the ad, then for like half an hour or more, people won't get ads. So that's a win. So, you take a mouse, Japanese Quest, we'll be back.
Tadaima. Yeah, I hear you about the ads on YouTube. <laughs> I always am trying, like, trying to watch a YouTube video. And I'll be like sitting on my couch, or laying on my couch, or whatever. But then... Wait a second, gotta redo my thing. For some reason I couldn't erase that. But then there'll be an ad. And you have to like, get up to like, make the ad go away. And it happens again and again, like every two minutes. And Twitch is the same if you're not a sub. Interesting. I didn't know that. And yeah, I guess I used to have an ad blocker, but for some reason I got rid of it. Okay, so where are we? Let's go. It is time to go deeper to the forest and to learn some more Japanese words anyone knew. I'm a Japanese teacher. Let's find some words in there. Maybe words like we learned back in Breath of the Wild. Check it out. The word for a boar. That's a good word. You know shishi. Maybe we'll find one in there. Yeah. Let's find some new words. Let's make our power level go up. Let's go. Nani? Eh? We became separated from our Nakama. What? Tayan. Yeah, they're really gone. It's always kind of like a scary moment in a JRPG or an RPG when suddenly you're all alone. Like just that small change can make a big impact on your sense of the game. I kind of like those moments in games. Like an FF6 when you're suddenly alone on that island. Ooh, we're seeing a new way to laugh. And David, welcome to Japanese Quest. So we've seen ha ha ha, we've seen ka ka ka. Now we're seeing mu fo fo. Alright. Maybe that's the way that a magical beast laughs. Oh, that's the Captain Henrik. I was not expecting him for some reason. Yeah, exactly. No healer. I'm kind of liking this monster, though. So, Majo, Witch, Teisaki. We saw that before. Why don't we learn that word? Let's go to our dictionary. We can power up with the power of words before we take this guy down. So, Teisaki. I wrote it wrong. There we go. So fingertips, but that's not what it means. What it means is underling <clears throat> or minion. This underling of the witch. So let me turn on Rikai Kun so I can press C. Copy that to clipboard and then add this to our power level. There we go. So we have fingers, but also underling, stooge, tool, pawn, minion. Power level is now 27, 29. Let's make that go up. Look at the bottom right. Here we go. The hype is real. How many Japanese words do you know? Hopefully, they went up by one or two or three today, at least. Because this channel made At least in your short-term memory, that's enough. You can plant the seed. You can find it later. <laughs> Oh, 
So you, you're the, the devil child. So Akuma, devil, ko, child, and uh, and we got a dragon, which is Ryu is the word for dragon. So Ozzy, thank you very much for the sub. Let's go. We got some hype for this fight now. <laughs> It is Tuesday. Good day to learn some Japanese. Just kind of like every day, I guess. Here we go. Wow, well, really, we do have to fight all alone. Okay. In that case, why don't we just do a defensive thing just to be safe, sword guard? Yep! <laughs> Alright. And then. You think this thing is a dragon? I don't know if it's a dragon. Let's try some different things. Let's try the dragon cutter. <laughs> so 36 damage. <laughs> Too good. June, people will think that you're a magical beast. That might be a good thing. <laughs> so that one's better. Standard attack's not that much worse. Let's just do standard attack in case we need to heal later. Die. Let's heal. Ooh, we finally have a res too. I didn't know that. That's good. We can. Someone dies now. With, we can help out with that. So he's got a bunch of buffs, which is kind of problematic. I don't think we can take them away, though. So, let's heal. Let's maybe turn up our defense again. Yep. The hype is rising. You can see in chat there. Ah, We got this. <laughs> Must heal though. Yep. <laughs> Yatta, kajimashita. What's the best Japanese book you've read? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, I've got a list of my favorites. I can show that off sometime. But I often mention Kino's Journey for the series that I really enjoyed. Kino no Tabi. I really enjoyed that series. Alright. Zuibun. Yeah, this word is not something I'll be honest, I'm not that familiar with. So let's uh, see in our dictionary if we can see that. I'm a Japanese teacher, but there's plenty of stuff that I still have to learn. So let's see, what do we see here? Te ko zu. Can you just put in the first part sometimes? Uh, yeah, so to have trouble with something. So you gave us a lot of trouble. This underling of the uh, witch. This is a word we probably don't need to add to our power level right now. Not a common word, but uh, 
Thanks, Hendrik, for teaching me this new word. That's what we're doing today. We're finding new words. We can all find new words. That includes that includes me. Let's go. Power levels rising. Whoa. That's kind of mean. やった、勝ちましたね。次は貴様だ。悪魔の声を今度こそ逃がさん。Ah, David, welcome. Yeah, you're studying Japanese every day, sweet. That is uh what we do here too, at least every weekday. At the same time, 9 a.m. Central, we've been learning Japanese from Japanese games, so welcome. Um, and uh, Rabbit Stuffing, welcome to you as well. Let's see, so currently, what's happening? Down here, so it's Sugiwa next. Kisamada. So next, you are next. The Devil Child. He thinks for the devil child anyway. So Kondo Koso Nigasan. So this time I will not let you get away. Eh? Nanda Koryo. So what is this? <laughs> I captured you, the hero, Greg. His name's just Greg <laughs> in Japanese. Uh, in English, Hendrik, they thought Greg wasn't maybe fantasy enough. Kori no Maju. The Ice Witch. So this ice is... You did it? Well, yeah, she is the Ice Witch. Makes sense. Hmm. Interesting. So if I... Freeze you. That person who released me, I can fulfill my promise. So Yakusoku promise to fulfill your promise. Yakusoku o hataseru. So I'm guessing what she's talking about is Mordigan freed her, and now if she freezes us, she can help him out. Ah, so the same pendant as that person. So now, Korede Osuroi. So now we have all of them. You see the word for pendant here in Katakana? And then Onaji. The same pendant as Anokata. Not sure who she's talking about, but maybe... I don't know, Morgan maybe? Don't really know. What? 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 So yeah, I've seen that in a few different contexts, but uh, let's check this one. Um, let's go back to the dictionary. Let's add some new words to our power level. Akenai. N1 word, unsatisfying, disappointing. can also mean abrupt, too quick, short, so it kind of has a range of different meanings. Um, in this case... So even though they call you a hero, you're kind of disappointing. 
So now, yeah, you can both just get frozen. So Akenai, unsatisfying, abrupt when we add that to our power level. And these words we saw added here too by other party members. Uh, Eiyu, hero, nigasu, to let someone escape or to miss something. Power level is now 2732. Yosh. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Scouter says power level is going up. Let's go. The hope is everyone watching can learn at least one new Japanese word today. If you haven't yet, look at the bottom of the screen. There's a few good ones about birds. <laughs> I will not let you do that. Oh, you know. Tascata, we're safe. Are you okay? Greg, Kuen Nikitanoa, Onusida Derukadar no Hei da Tanodana. Ah, so the one who came with reinforcements was you. Doosta Greg, Washira would come out of the one I know. So what are you doing, Greg? You're not gonna capture us? Good word up there added to the upper left by a badger. QN. Relief rescue, so the ones who came to rescue the people here. Looks good. Hmm. So for once he's not trying to capture us. Maybe a good idea since we have our whole party now. So before I capture you, so maini before yarubeki koto ga dekita. So I now have something to do before I capture you. So just that you can see in his face that he's serious. <laughs> so yeah, he was uh, done in by the witch. His body is freezing. Hmm. So in the way I saw a cabin. Yeah, we went to the cabin, don't you remember? Let's go there. Help him rest the cabin. Ah, you woke up. How's your body? Are you okay now? Keyword we always see in these games. Daijobu. Are you okay? Are we okay? I actually don't know if we're okay. Maybe let's let chat decide. Are we okay? Hi? Or... Yeah, we are playing on Switch. And we can say, hi, we are okay, we are Daijobu, or... Yeah, I don't even know if we're okay. But this is a chance to learn the words for yes and no, if nothing else. Hi, yes, yeah, no. And the key word, the key thing in question, Daijobu kane, are we okay? So we see, yeah, 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 hi, 
Any other votes? Are we okay? Height or EA? Five seconds. Let's close voting. Go. Yon. San. Ni. Ichi. Zero. Couple more EA. All right. Let's say EA. We are not okay. So, ka. Cool, yeah, so saying we're not okay, I think, gave us some new text. It also possibly gave us a new dragon, so welcome to this dragon. Thank you very much for the sub from, uh... Not sure how to say your name, but thanks for the dragon anyway. Screer. Arigato. The dragon will help us warm up, I think. So, Amari Murio says this, so don't push yourself too hard. And, uh, Danlo de. So, Danlo is fireplace. So, at the fireplace, warm yourself up. And, uh, yeah, because you were really frozen out there. Ah, so, uh, I still haven't introduced myself yet. Hmm. So we seek some keywords here. So this guy, take a look at him. You can maybe tell from the monocle. Not a normal person. In fact, he is a magic scholar. Maho magic, and then Gakusha scholar. And uh, right now, Majo Nitsuite, so about the witch. So Nitsuite is about something. So in this case, Majo Nitsuite, about the witch. Kenkyu shitemas. So I'm researching about the witch. Because everyone else in the town is frozen. So this guy makes more sense that the, the queen kind of in the city. Like, why would she not be frozen? So Jitsua, so actually, when the witch appeared, I happened to be outside of the country. And so luckily... I avoided being frozen. Hmm. So I'll tell you what I know about the witch. I heard uh, that you yeah, are here to defeat the witch sent by the queen. Huh. Okay, so the uh, the ice witch who attacked you in ancient times by a famous wizard. Here's the word for wizard. Mahotsukai. So by that wizard. She was sealed inside a forbidden book. And then, yeah, I see that word different in the game. Kome, famous. If you look at the kanji, literally, High name, their name is high, they are famous. Okay, so in that time of myth, um, this great ancient library, yeah. There's this great ancient library 
um, and they have these ancient books, many ancient books that sleep there. And in ancient times, this wizard sealed the witch there. But I, she must have been let out by Morgan then. So Hmm. So I went to that ancient library to find a clue on the witch and her being sealed there. Um, but it's become a monster nest. It's full of monsters. So Mamono monster. Mamono no su ni natteta. So yeah, it became a monster nest basically. So some no more good words. So kon, good luck, kome, famous, and then fujiru to seal. Looks good. Let's scroll down our uh, new words and let's make our power level go up to 27, 36. Power level rising. Let's go. And then, yeah, I see the comments in chat too. Thanks for those comments. Give some more context. Ah, good, you woke up. Hmm. So yeah, it seems like you don't need to worry, and you should thank Veronica. She's been especially helpful in uh, nursing you back to health. So neshini means like passionately, and then kambiosuru to kind of nurse someone back to health. So she's been helping us out, I guess. Let's make sure we thank her. <laughs> uh yeah, you don't need to you don't need to say that. I guess she's kind of embarrassed. So yoke na koto. Unnecessary things, maybe that you don't need to say. So tereru de nai. Ma sore wa ii to shite. Sakihodo majo ni kansuru hanashi wa tsutaete oita. All right, there's no need to be embarrassed. Uh, yeah, I told him before about the witch, Majo, again, witch. Zagi, konnichiwa. Sa, ja, hanashi wa hayai wa ne. Ekke Haruto san to Kodai Toshokan ni itte, issu ni Majo o taosu tegakari o sagashimashou. So with this guy, let's go to this ancient library and uh, let's find a clue on how we might defeat this witch. So Majo o Taus, defeat the witch, that's the goal. And what we want is a tegakari, a hint on how to defeat that witch. So we are doing that together. Isho ni, together. Majo o Taus tegakari o sagashimashou. Let's look for that in this ancient library. Kodai, ancient Toshokan library. That's a word you'll learn in Genki 1. Good word. And then, yeah, we saw kansuru, meaning related to something. So he was saying, related to the witch, I told him about the witch, basically. Things related to the witch. Kodai Toshokan wa higashi no hongaku ni aru ga, minami no mishi kara tou maori shi nai to ike nai kara shui suru ga ii. Huh. Dewa, mukao to suru ka. Okay, if you're looking for that uh, ancient library, Crown is royalty, is now a party member. That's not my translation, that's just the reality of what just happened, so welcome. Uh, if you go in the easterly direction, Higashi, east, so go there. Hogaku means direction. So go east. And then, if you go south, and you go around, um, that's the way to get there. So chui surugai, so be careful, because you need to go around to the south. Crown is royalty. Welcome. Yokozo. 
Japanese quest away. Anyway, anyone else who's new, I'm a Japanese teacher. What we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. Crown is royalty. What that means is we have a new party member. Their name is Crown is royalty, and they have a crown. Check it out. Anyone else, if you want to join our party, you can join too. And as you become a new party member, we can find new words. Your power level will go up in Japanese. Or if you're studying English, maybe power level can go up in English. Either way, we're leveling up. Let's go. So welcome. The hype is real for learning Japanese on Twitch. Let's do it. Let's spread the hype. Let's get other people streaming Japanese games too. Let's host them. We can all power up. We see the power up emote. The hype is real. Let's do it. Um, so I think where we're going is uh, this library. You can see the ancient library right here. But we can't just pass through it. I think we need to go possibly up through here. The Eggman has joined. Welcome to the Eggman. I've always liked that that word, the Eggman. Ah, uh, yeah, Crown is royalty. You're just like me. For seven years, I stopped studying Japanese. I had studied it before, but uh, you can always pick it back up. And uh, for when you do, I recommend the key is just consistency. Just keep doing it. Keep moving forward. It's a journey, and that's why together we're here on this journey. Sometimes it helps on your journey if you have Nakama, if you have friends on your journey. And then with them, you can keep going, you can keep leveling up, you can uh, have fun. And uh, yeah, just kind of hang out, talk. If you have a community, it's that much easier to come back to it every day. You need comrades for that journey, exactly. Sa, Nakama to isho ni boken shio. Nihongo de, eigo de, game de. Level up shio ze. Let's level up in the game. Let's level up in Japanese. Let's go. I highly recommend grinding a lot of these areas and the library. Ah, uh, really? Well, we don't grind too much, so we're not going to do that. But uh, let's see. If we if we have to, then maybe we will. We did die once in the game, killed by a giant squid. Uh, not the library, the following section? Okay. Yeah, Griffin Sensei, the bottom left, is definitely our Nakama, the first party member on Japanese Quest. Anyone else who's sure who follows? He can become a party member as well. The hype is real. Party members. Almost getting up to 9,000. That is one goal on Japanese Quest. Party members to 9,000 words to 9,000. So it looks like up here to the library, it said. They've got robots. Wants to fight. Hi. Not bad. Dude, so I think you need something to get through that defense. Um, maybe magic will work better. Let's try that. Seems a bit better. What if we can we sleep this guy? Yeah, I guess he can damage him. Yosh. Alright, we got some new words. Let's scroll down our new words here. Look at the top left. So, Toshokan Library. So, I'm starting to think some of these words 
they may be a duplicate. Our formatting may be weird again, not showing up green. Seems a little weird for library, but I don't know. Maybe it's possible we didn't learn that word yet. Um, Hogaku, direction, tomowari, the roundabout way, a detour. So good words, though. Let's make our power level go up to 2740. Yosh. Oh no, I made it go down. 40. There we go. And just for fun, let's look at our formatting on that sheet. Let's go to our list. Uh, so here's our browser cam. And uh, we can check out, this is the way we do the formatting. You go to conditional formatting. So format, conditional formatting. So here's the rule, here's the formatting. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened with some of these. It shouldn't be more than just one. It should be A1 all the way up to A... Yeah, this could be a problem. 999. It got marked down for some reason. So let's do this. And then... Done. Let's see if any of this changes now. Huh. So there are some things green. Continent. But it looks like we're okay, I think. Just making sure. Not sure why some of this stuff is green. Anyway, I can look at that later. But for now, it seems like we're okay. Duplicates should, should come up green. I believe it's working. Let's just double check it. Let's do the same word again. Let's put in library again. Or let's put in like a... Uh, Tomoari. To... to -o -ma -wa -i. Put it in. What? Something else turns green. Yeah, something strange with our formatting now. That may need to be fixed, because what in the world just happened with that? Anyway, let's keep going on for now. Something is weird, though. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power Change the range just to AA. Yeah, I did that before, but then it was changed again by someone. Anyway, we'll have to fix that later. Let's not worry about it. For now, let's keep going, because the formatting should be right on the one I copied into, so we can double-check all that. The weird thing with those Google Sheets, it's, it seems like it's too easy for that formatting to just get weird. You can't lock it. I even Googled if you could. It seems you can't. So the Eggman, welcome. Glad you like the idea. Yeah, group learning. Learning together. I'm a Japanese teacher. We learn words from the game together. That's what we do. Sometimes the formatting's kind of tricky, but uh, we did add a formatting piece where new words come up green, so it has helped a lot overall. Because sometimes it gets a little strange when everyone's editing the sheet. How useful, in chat, how useful is changing the language in the game to learn Japanese? Huh, that kind of depends on you. But it can be a really useful way to be exposed to more Japanese if you're playing the game anyway. So that's kind of the way I think of it. If you're playing a game anyway, you might as well play in Japanese. If you're wanting to learn Japanese at all. Um, so in that sense, it's very useful. But for like a pure learning source, it's like a... The one thing you do, do to learn Japanese, maybe in that case it's not the most useful way to learn Japanese from just nothing. But yeah, it can help a lot. Oh, sweet. This person, Dark, says snagging screenshots to find more vocab. Awesome. Yeah, this is what I say. If you're going to play anyway, you might as well play in Japanese, especially if it's a Japanese game. 
But uh, yeah, I kind of agree too. Books or visual novels will expose you to more words and more reading if that's your goal. So yeah, I generally want to spend more time reading books than games personally just because I want more exposure. But it can really help to be a kind of a gateway to reading more books because the games can be easier to play. What do we have here? Making our way. Takabura. I'm doing well, how are you? Good to hear you're doing well. We've been leveling up quite a bit today with some new words. Power level going up in the game too, as you can see, level up. So here we go. So level you see in katakana. So level ga nijudoku kara. So from 26, niju nana ni agatta. So level went up from 26 to 27, not bad. So we got some new words here. We can finally get this steel skill. Pipe. I see a lot of good comments in chat. Ooh, this guy, I'm not sure we've fought yet. Let's fight him. A lot of good comments about different ways to learn. Uh, yeah, the, the setting we use, it's just the default setting. It just makes them fight. And uh, welcome to LJ. Japanese festival, welcome. Not bad. Yosh. Ooh, we got a troll. Not bad. Yeah, visual novels can be great for getting a lot of exposure, but they can be hard just to jump into. So I recommend finding A, a game that you're really wanting to play, and B, a game that might be on the simpler side. We mentioned four of the easiest games that people popularly might play. Some of those are Animal Crossing, Pokemon games, Nino Kuni, and actually Yokai Watch is often mentioned as one of the the useful, most useful and most most simple to start with. But at the end of the day, find a game you really want to play. You can get through it. So yeah, the one that Callie's talking about looks good too. You mentioned that in the Discord. And by the way, Kelly or someone, could you uh, link the Discord since you showed pictures of that on Discord? People could check it out maybe in the games section on Discord. That could be cool. Yep. Ooh, let's try this steel skill we got, Nusumu. Itadaki. Nanimo. Stole nothing that time. So yeah, check out the Discord and uh, in the games section, Kelly and Kanji showed pictures of this game. It did look really good for Japanese. It worked well, too, with a uh, game-to-text. Game-to-text can really help play Japanese games as well. Because then, with game-to-text, all you do... You can make a box around the text, and then using OCR, it will tell you 
You can use a dictionary like Rikai or Yomichan to read the words. It can help a lot playing games. So there are tools these days that can help a lot to play games that didn't used to exist. And yeah, this one too can help for visual novels for sure. Text Ractor. If for some games it doesn't work, like a few games it might not work on, that uh, game to text can work well too. Yep, game to text. It's a t the number two. Game to text. Uh, what is game to text? Uh, uh, yeah, there's a link to Discord. Game to text helps you to read dialogue in Japanese games because all you do with game to text is it should be linked there. Hopefully, someone linked it. Um, you just pick the text in the game, and it will it'll use OCR to break it down, and then you can use a tool like Rikai or Yomichan to bring up the definitions, or if you want, you can just translate it with machine translation. It's just a great tool. It doesn't work for everything, but for some games it works really well. It depends on what the background is like. On this game it works pretty much perfectly, because the, the background is dark. Yeah, you can check the picture of it on the Discord. If you're interested. The game to text person has a Discord too, I believe. Yeah, the community is growing, especially around gaming, I feel like. There's so many people now playing games in Japanese that when I started Japanese Quest even three years ago, it was very different. But now, it's just getting easier and easier to find games. Wow, this is a... We could die here. What's going on right now? Let's get serious. What is this uh, treasure hunter? Steals a treasure and attacks them? Let's try that. Yeah, the community for learning Japanese through games keeps leveling up. The community for Japanese Quest 2 keeps leveling up. We can all level up each other. And uh, yeah, the leveling is real. I think the metaphor for games leveling up is a good metaphor for language. Because really it's just about you keep moving forward in the game, you keep leveling up, and it just happens kind of automatically. Just like in the game. Just keep exposing yourself to new words, new language, you'll get there. And it's fun, yep. just like the game. Ah, sweet. Thanks for reposting the picture then on Discord. Appreciate that, because it is very helpful. Like, if I had had that when I started playing games, I probably would have used it. Just because it would make it so much easier to get more out of the game, I feel like. Like, now I don't really even need to use it, but... When I started, I couldn't even play some games. With that tool, I could have I could have tried. Let's see if we can po poison a robot. Apparently not. Wait, he poisons us. No, that's not poison. Good. It's like debuffing our attack, maybe? Viper 
Yeah, this this guy needs to die already. How often do you stream? Right now, every weekday. Monday through Friday. Every day at the same time, 9 a.m. Central Time. <laughs> Japan Time, I think that's uh, 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, I think it's like, what? Two o'clock, three o'clock, something like that. So yeah, it seems like a pretty good time for both time zones. So we have people from all over. We finally made it to this library. <clears throat> Not bad. Konnichiwa. Say hello to this hat. So, So I mentioned we might find uh, an Inoshishi. I think we found them. So yep, we, we learn Japanese every day through Japanese games. Specifically, well, I'm a Japanese teacher. It's my job. So I teach it, and that's what we do. I hope is here can be a bit more fun way to interact with Japanese than normal study, which can be boring for me as a teacher. I get bored with it, especially. That's why I think we do it here this way. Nope. Hey. Nani. We've got a statue. A moving statue. That's its that's its name. Check it out. Ugoku means to move. And then uh, Sekizo means a stone statue. So here we have a moving stone sat statue. Seki means stone. Zo means statue. So uh, LJ, hope you become big someday. This is a really cool concept. Oh uh, yeah, that's the goal. I would love to do this full time. Because I think I'm pretty good at it. And I think people seem to enjoy it. And I think that we've got room for growth. So, Rosengran, welcome. And frankly, I find normal Japanese teaching a little bit boring for just my style. Whereas this is quite fun. Um, you see so much variety. You can level up in so many different ways. You meet so many different people. It's just a... Uh, and it's just a journey. I feel like a journey should be the way that people learn a language. Everyone has their own journey, but to together here, we can meet for a brief moment um, every day. And uh, we can share a moment, and we can share this journey. So yeah, that's the goal. But for right now, let's defeat this moving statue. Nice trip. What can you steal from a moving statue? Let's find out. New sumo to steal. Itadaki. Baggy. Ha ha. So Rosen says in Japanese, I learned Japanese basics. Yep. I follow you. Enjoy reading while you explain what the meaning of every word. Cool. And yeah, I don't always explain every word, and that's intentional. I kind of pick the low-hanging fruit, I pick teachable moments, and I pick the keywords. But if you're reading, you especially want to focus on. I've noticed from doing this for a couple years, if I do every word, it, the pace is just sometimes too slow. A big part of this is kind of about pace. Keeping it fun, keeping it light, keeping the learning, the gaming at a good balance. We got a slime. Eh, ningen ga kurunante bezrashi ne. So it's rare for a person to come here. Ningen is human. Bezrashi is rare. So koko wa inishie no jirai no 
貴重な書物が収められた古代図書館。So this is the ancient library with、uh, important ancient books. So you came all the way here, I will tell you.、Um, this library has a special, a unique structure. Tokushuna Kozo. Kozo is structure, so we have a unique structure here for this library. And、uh, so if you put your hand up to a switch, the walls and stairs will move. So Kabe ya, Kaidan ga. Ugoku. So, Ugoku is to change. It's the te form, so it's Ugoite.、Um, connecting with this, there's, there's, there's places you can't go. But now you can go to places if you put your hand up to a switch. And we see ya, meaning and, but it's kind of and, etc. So, it could be things like walls, like stairs, but it could be other things too. Ah, I'm glad you like the voice. Welcome. And good to see you. Let's go. So, Mazuwa, so first, there's a switch by me. Put your hand up to it, and then you can use a different switch. Yeah, today we have certain keywords that keep showing up witch, forest, library. Blurred, I'm glad you, it's been helping you too.、Um, Kizami says, very rela- very, It's very relaxing to watch and learn some words. You have a good voice, you speak very clear. Arigato, glad you like it. I'm doing my best. We'll see how far we can push it. But my hope is that we can get up above a hundred viewers because I feel like this is a fun thing learning Japanese from games. It's a way to get more out of the game. I think there's, a, there's room for growth with this, not just this channel, but this genre. There can be other teachers too, other learners. We can level them up, level them up too. And、uh, so with this switch, Ikai ni aru betsu no switch yo sagashite miru. You can find a different switch too. You can use. The map. Chizu is map. Oh, nice. NX says we're not that far off at 80 viewers. I think it's possible. Yeah, I think if we keep growing, if we,、uh, if there is like word of mouth, party members finding other party members, and、uh, all these party members can join and watch and relax and learn some Japanese and make some jokes and、uh, inspire each other a little bit and, you know, just have some fun, chill, find a new way to enjoy games. Really, that will be the way we grow. If we start to have people that don't even care about Japanese, that are just chilling here, that's really when we can start to grow. So, yeah, spread the word. Let's level up in Japanese. Let's do it. So, Applecore says, Hey everyone, often lurking here while I'm at work, trying to get back into studying Japanese after having a break for a couple of years. Yeah. I had a break for seven years. You can definitely get back into it. The key is、uh, just jump in with something you like. With something that feels right, and then just do it every day. Or at least almost every day. So, where's our switch? Here, I think. Winter says, I like to chill here and practice writing my kanji. Nice. Yeah, I recommend if you're here, you can practice your on key. You can practice your kanji. You can practice anything else you're working on. This can be your time to maybe do something in the background. On key is flashcards. Or just chill. And、uh, it's really up to you. I think the switch is here. So we put our hand up to it. Yura, yokozo. So if you use, now you can use all the switches. So find more switches. Betsu no switch, different switch.
So I'm thinking that the uh, we want probably some stairs. Ah, is this a switch maybe? That did something. I remember this library has a lot of books. I, I'll be honest, I don't want to read all of them. The books in this game can be kind of boring. These guys, too, to me, are a little boring. Don't want to talk to them. When you're playing games in Japanese, when you're teaching Japanese games, you gotta choose your battles. You talk to everyone. Sometimes it's too much Japanese text. We use special life text that has voice lines, too. It's more important. And you got the voice. 86 viewers! The hype is real for learning Japanese. Although sometimes I worry if they're like there's like a view bots aren't like like view bots like a thing here. Um, let's not use those bots. I've heard that sometimes people are not partnered because of, like there's too many bots. So yeah, um, let's see if the people here are bots actually. Um, I think I you can do a poll. And uh, we got 82 viewers, I see. So let's see if they are bots, just for fun. Um, so let's run a manage poll. My question will be new poll, are you a bot? Are you a bot? Let's hope you're not a bot. Let's say yes. No, or I am a hero. I don't know why this like auto went on my thing. I am a hero, so let's start poll. So are you a bot? Yes or no? We'll find out. Let's go back to the game because we're being attacked. Yeah, I don't know why it said I am a hero. That was like by... <laughs> My auto uh, correct made it. I am a hero, so I just went, went with it. <laughs> yeah, people will say yes, won't they? Oh, well. It's not a perfect system, but yeah, let's hope there's not few bots because I have heard those can help to make people not get partnered. They said you have too many bots viewing. To at least apply to be partner, we need for a month an average of over 75 viewers. So it seems like that maybe possible someday. So are you a bot? Let's hope not. If you are a bot though, I if like if you're an actual robot who's watching, I'm okay with that. But if it's a bot that's like not supposed to be in the algorithm, that's not cool. But if you're like, a, if you are a, a, like an android person, like Data and Star Trek, that's actually good. Just want to be clear. Hmm. Like, you're welcome. So, it's, it's just these non-sentient bots, not so welcome. An AI is so advanced they can even answer polls. Uh, SCR says, yeah, I just lurk. Totally not a bot. Sweet. If you are a bot, though, it's fine. As long as you can talk and you're a bot, I'm cool with you. But if you're like a bot, a bot that doesn't talk and that doesn't do anything other than just like pretend to view, that's not cool. Because, yeah, I just saw like a post on Reddit yesterday. Someone like... Has to be a partner, like, I think, like, they applied, like, 16 times or something crazy. And then, like, they finally got to be a partner, but, uh, the first many times they said, nope, you got bots. And, like, one of their viewers, like, maybe to try to help, like, sent, like, 40 to 60 bots to watch their channel. That is not helpful. So, yeah. Let's have no bot. Hmm. 
So yeah, some good question uh, with by C Ghibli down there. So the second word you use is much more common. And it just kind of means power. She cut off power. Um, that ikioi word is often used with kind of other words connected to it. Like ikioi yoku you often see for like a lot of kind of energy. But you kind of have to like just see it by context. The second word though is much more common in general. Uh, yeah, the idea is you can comment, but I mean, you can lurk, don't get me wrong. Like, if you're lurking and you never comment, that's totally fine. You can lurk. It's cool. Just, uh, let's not have view bots. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. <laughs> Fox the Stampede, hello fellow humans. Good to see more humans. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, I don't, don't I don't think anyone's a bot, but But since our views have been going up quite a bit, I I in the back of my mind did think, is it is it possible that we just have a bunch of view bots? Are they all real people? I did it did cross my mind. Because I looked at our old averages, we never had this many viewers before, so that's good, but sometimes I'm like, hmm. Are there view bots? I don't know these days. Let's hope not. Alright, so we are here. Can we go up more? No, this goes down. Seems like a dead end. We can go here. Let's look for another switch. So that's a dead end. So how is the poll doing? I'm, I don't have a chance to look at it. Is a... Uh, Sweet. Yeah, I think it could be, like, because we're consistent now, and we're newly back, we have got new viewers for that reason. Possibly, the stream has improved as well. So again, question, someone in chat might help you more, but according to the poll, we have nine bots. Okay, see, that's not good. Let's get rid of those nine bots. But if if they're bots that can answer polls, they're probably okay. So CH says, really like the idea of the stream, so it entertaining and educational. Glad you like it. So I'm confused. What? There's that dead end here and dead end there, too? You go to the middle, though. Ooh, we've got a friend. Let's take his treasure. Hi. Nice. Tim says, I think since your streams are so relaxed, there are a lot of lurkers. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, yeah, let's hope there are not bots. Just seems like bots to some degree are just like a thing on the internet or on Twitch. But yeah, let's hope. We've got mostly humans <sighs> around here. So he's just saying I don't like books. Other people can read difficult books. I respect them. I don't really feel like reading too much about books, so let's just look at that and go. But I guess Eric, we learned, is not a reader. Ooh, I think we have another switch. Let's press it. We've got some kind of book here. I think there are some recipe books, so we might want to look at those. Sekaiichi Osoroshi Noroi. 
So the scariest curse in the world, old book. I'm really not feeling like maybe reading all of this, just because these books can get long. It's about a curse. No is the word for curse. Like even in English English, I just to me those just books get to be I just don't feel like reading all of them all the time. So here's a switch. What did that do? Okay. I could see nothing. Did something. Ooh, did it make a stairs now? Let's use that stairs. Ooh, we got a dragon. Let's say hello to the dragon. Mm. We can maybe finally use our dragon slash ability. Because he looks quite dragony. Let's steal from the dragon. Nice. Take Dragon Slash. Dragon Slash for the win. So is the poll done? Let's check that poll. What's the results for the poll? In the end, how many bots do we have? View results, poll ended. So it looks like we've got... Wow, most people are a hero. 63% I am a hero. Uh, yes, I, I'm a bot. 10 people are bots. No, I'm not a bot. Only 5. Interesting. Okay. Primarily, people are a hero. Good to see. I am a hero. I'm glad I added that, added that option. Let's do it. <laughs> Looks good. Half viewers answered. Hopefully half are not bots. But no, I believe there are probably are a lot of lurkers too. Is, it like, is there any way to like tell if you have bots? I don't even know that. I wish I knew more about technology. Yosh. So we came from the stairs. We came from there, making progress. <laughs> uh, bots that you can see in the chat name are not listed as viewers. Yosha! Level up. Level up. Let's see some of those points, maybe. She's working on the spear skills, I think. Increase attack, that sounds good. Yosh.
Looks good. Ah, uh, yeah, Dragon Quest for the first time is a good idea. All the Dragon Quest games are pretty solid. This one in particular is a very solid game. Dragon Quest XI. Ah, uh, just got added in Smash. Interesting. Where was a while ago, right? Yeah, I never played the new Smash. I played all the old Smashes, but how is the new Smash, anyway? I don't think I've ever played it. I know it's not new, new, not new now, but... Is there much language in Smash, I wonder? I did consider getting it at the time for, ja for Japanese Quest. Whoa, what? What? Why are people dying? Luckily, we do have a revive spell now. Let's use that spell. Mainichi! JP, ooh, that's a really, 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 really good username. Let's learn from it. So, Mainichi means every day. So, Mainichi JP to me means the key to learning Japanese. Mainichi, Mainichi use Japanese every day. So, let's learn from this new party member. Mainichi JP, welcome. So, use Japanese every day. That's the key. And this. New party member is carrying the key. The key to Japanese. Use it every day. They are carrying this magic key. Take a look at it. We now have access to this uh, key because the party member has joined us. So this is the key. If you want to unlock Japanese, use it every day. That's the key. Pretty simple. So welcome. Mainichi means every day. Okay, so let's first heal... Oh, nice. That even healed and revived her. That's pretty useful. So, uh, she's out of mana. Let's switch, switch, switch. And she died, too. Let's switch to a different healer. How do you draw on screen? Yeah, it is magic. Because we have magic powers at play here on Japanese Quest. If anyone wants to tell in more detail how that magic works, you can, you can write that on chat. But it is magic. Let's see. And, uh, let's switch here to a new healer. Oh no, he's low on mana too. Yep, Kali and Kanji has it. MS Paint plus Chroma Key and green screen. The white appears as transparent. So yeah, good question, good answer. Thanks for answering it kind of easier in a way if it's written down, but yeah, I just think it is magic. Uh, yep, mainichi, mainichi, every day, every day. Sometimes things in Japanese get repeated for emphasis. We got another book, this one. Nice, we got a recipe. Different elementals. Yeah, the vocab at the bottom changes every minute. That uses the uh, slideshow feature on OBS. And what you see is all the words we've learned so far on Japanese Quest. It goes up to 900. And you'll see a loop back around pretty soon here, probably. Abune. That's not good. So yep, basically the foundational vocab you need from games you see at the bottom we learned previously on Japanese Quest. You can also see our previous journey. Works out pretty well. And just something unique for this channel. So that there's always some word on the screen that people can learn. Let's see here. This seems blocked. If we can switch something, maybe it won't be. 
Ooh, good username, Bud Lightyear. Welcome. Welcome to Bud Lightyear. Okay. Now we're ready. Now we're ready for anything. There are some very powerful usernames on this journey with us. New party member. To infinity and beyond, maybe too far beyond in the case of our new party member. Increase healing powers, that sounds good. Ooh, dual wield, that sounds good too. Uh, but Lightyear says, hey, good to catch you live. I use your vids for Japanese studies. Sweet, good to see you. Probably you find us on YouTube. Ooh, nice. Field attacks, 100. Get a title for that. Yeah, check out the videos on YouTube if someone wants to link that. I believe the way you do that is, uh... Exclamation point YouTube. You can find our YouTube. All the old videos you can find there, although... You really want to watch live, because it's about three weeks behind right now from where we are. Live, because we're going every day. It's been hard for me to keep up with YouTube. Importing them over. Moving statue? Probably. Nigiro, run away. Yeah, good comments. I'm thinking... Can this guy attack us on the stairs? Let's see if he can. He can't. So we can kind of just look at him and taunt him. And I think we might do that as we wait for our stream next time. So I think we'll end the stream here today. So I will say, Ja! Matane! Uh, we've got this guy in the wall. We've got this guy waiting here. I think this is a good time to end the stream. So I will say, Ja! Matane! See you next time. Japanese quest will continue. Tomorrow, same time, we can level up in Japanese, find some new words tomorrow too. Our power level right now, 2740. It might get changed if there are some duplicates, but anyway. Uh, next time, same time, Japanese Quest will continue to join the journey tomorrow too. The hype rises for Japanese on the internet, on Twitch, right here. Let's do it. And uh, speaking of hype, let's find someone to host because we want to spread this hype to another channel. And uh, who is streaming right now? Let's find out. Let's raid them with as many people as possible to spread the hype for Japanese. Sweet. Wasef, right now, is learning Japanese, teaching Japanese through Yakuza Zero. Let's spread the hype to Wasef, another Japanese teacher slash learner. Um, they've made incredible progress just in like a year and a half. They can already read Japanese quite well, so it, it kind of proves in a way. Learn from video games, it can work, because they've been learning from video games on Twitch for a while now. So let's raid Wasef. You choose A, man. You choose the side quest. I did it for you. <laughs> so Japanese quest will continue. Ja! Matane. Start the raid right now. Or no, not right now, but in 10 seconds. Join the raid. Let's do it. If you want to follow, you can see us next time. Same time. Japanese quest will continue. Ja! Matane.